For decades, NASA has stolen gravity from neighboring planets and used it as fuel for deep space exploration. It's called a gravity assist, and because of it, we've been able to travel to regions outside the solar system that would otherwise be unthinkable. So how does it work? In a nutshell, a gravity assist is a technique that changes the spacecraft's velocity relative to the sun by swinging through the gravitational field of a planet or moon. To accelerate, the spacecraft lies with the movement of the planet, picking up a small chunk of its orbital energy in the process. To decelerate, the spacecraft flies against the planet's motion. The larger the planet, the stronger the gravitational power, meaning the spacecraft gets a bigger push or pull, all on the dime of the planet's gravity gas card. The first flyby technique can be traced back to the Voyager missions of 1977. At the time, the two unmanned spacecraft were launched into space to study the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. But the distance to Jupiter is deceptively long, only about halfway to Saturn. And the vehicles the probes were launched aboard, the Titan III Centaurs, could only provide enough energy to get them to Jupiter. The launches, of course, were planned so that Jupiter aligned perfectly with the spacecraft's route. The orbital designers targeted the closest approach distance to achieve the desired speed, Afterwards, the probe's momentum pulled them away from the planet. Voyager 2 toward Uranus and Neptune, and Voyager 1 toward the limits of the solar system. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. As NASA puts it, further than anyone or anything in history. Since Voyager's initial launch, there have been at least eight notable uses of gravity assisting. Thanks to gravity assisting, these spacecraft have traveled billions of kilometers into space. Voyager 1, for example, is currently around 20 billion kilometers away from the Earth. The Rosetta probe, launched by the European Space Agency in March 2004, used four gravity assist maneuvers to accelerate throughout the inner solar system, eventually reaching its destination on Comet 67P on November 12, 2014. But will the gravity assist method ever be used for human missions? Probably not. The idea boils down to efficiency versus time. Swinging by all those planets makes it a long trip. So really, there's no free gas. Chances are, an astronaut would prefer not to be in space for years and years at a time. Still, it's far out, dude. <laughs>